And so we like to welcome uh, members of the press to this important press conference. And today, the Senator of Mankiri County will be speaking on issues of national concern. And right after that, we will call the update. There will be no question asked. And so, right after the, the press statement, we call the update. So, Honorable mm -hmm. Senator, thank you very much. Thank you, Francis. Well, we, we, did a, we did a brief press statement that was shared with the press. So primarily, I will get for a summary of issues that we intend to address. I think the media and the public is aware recently that the President of the Republic of Nigeria wrote the legislature and presented a budget, a budget for February. You are also aware that um, the official budget of the country were received by the pro tem and the and the deputy speaker, even though we are we are we are currently on recess. So technically the budget isn't before the legislature yet because it has not been presented to the vote planners. But it's our understanding that um, uh, the legislature will be recalled so that we can address the issue of the budget. But the issue that I want to address is that while we support the president's agenda to address the issue of road connectivity, especially on his 100 day deliverable, the fundamental principle that the government has to observe. Especially, especially in, in in spending the country's money. In February, the legislature approved two million dollars as a support towards the president's one hundred day deliverable. But what has caught our attention a very serious violation by the Ministry of Public Works is that the Ministry of Public Work has gone ahead in total contravention of the Constitution and the PPC Act to award 21 million Liberian, 21 million US dollars to feed contractors. Now, the questions that we need to ask, what is the source of funding for that 21 million? And what it did is that they awarded the contract on a letter a letter to proceed. And normally what that means is that you're telling the contractor go and credit money on behalf of Liberia. And once the money is credited on behalf of Liberia, it becomes a liability on the country the country has to pay. And the Constitution is very clear, very, very clear. The Constitution Article 34, Section D, Article 34, Article 34, Section D, and Subsection 3 is very, very clear. It says that no loan shall be raised or guaranteed without the authority of the legislative enactment. Now, what I mean is that if you want to credit money on behalf of Liberia, you have to come to the legislature. The Ministry of Public Work can only use now, the only thing they can use are two million now. We don't even have a budget. But now they have asked companies to go and credit on one million. Now who's going to pay for that? So that's a violation of the Constitution. Besides, it also violates the PPCC and the PFM law. We say before you contract A services or work to any company, the money must be available. There should be a source of the money. In this instance, there's no source because there's no budget. Nobody knows where the money is coming from. That's a violation. So we want to draw the public attention, even those who are the contractor, not to proceed. And even the bank, because this is a history, there's a history on this. On the line, there's a body administration. They had the same problem with the issue and let it proceed. And 
They put Labra into sixty million dollar debt with the commercial bank. Commercial bank. And they move through the process. And begin part of Labra debt portfolio. And people have to come back to pay that money. We don't want to see things. So the mistake is in the power, we don't want to repeat it. Now, people may say, well, I roll, yeah, we want to do roll, but it won't be done properly. We want to do roll, we want to make sure that you go through the project. If we have budget, and the budget will approve, say we have 50 million now, 100 million now in the budget, and PPCC or Ministry of Parliament decide to say, no, we're looking for broke and free funding because we already get money available, but the money is not readily available, but the money is approved. You can go to any company, follow the, follow the procurement process, and say, do a free financing because money is available. When the money is available, we'll pay. But in the instant, there's no money available. But Labra has been committed. They are trying to commit the country. So what we're trying to do is to stop it. We want to call the contractors who are involved. A uh, few of my colleagues and I are writing an official letter to the, to the Senate for the Senate to take action. We want to raise this uh, for the public to know that this is not right, this is wrong. And uh, I've gotten the, the blessing of a few of my colleagues that we're ready to protect the Senate for the Senate to the appropriate action. Because this thing has been happening, this thing has to stop. So I just thought I'd give you a summary of what is going on, what we intend to do. I will share the press release with you, with you guys. I can use it. We need transparency. Good government cannot start with bad governance. Good government cannot start with bad governance. So you, how should we, if we don't act now, Public work will not commit the country to $200 million or even the budget by the way they proceed. So if you just, just imagine, we say, we authorize to spend $2 million, you spend $21 million. So where, who going to pay for the, 19, the extra $19 million? So I just thought we'll brief the press. And thank you for coming. We'll share the, the press release with you so you can let the public know that the Senate, some members of the Senate, we are currently now writing, we've done the letter. The letter is going to the protein. Uh, we hope the protein will put on the floor because it's a serial matter. This money belongs to the Liberian government. And if you want Liberia paying it, money, you gotta go through the appropriate authority. Especially critically, you that those are constitutional provision that has to be answered by both the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Justice, the Director of PPCC. And the Minister of Public Works. Thank you very much. <laughs>